The world watched, holding its breath. News channels cut to live feeds from the West Philippine Sea, where a flotilla of humble Filipino boats bobbed on the waves. On Defense Secretary Teodoro's command, the flotilla sprang to life, executing complex maneuvers with impossible precision. This was Project Banca X, the Philippines' most closely guarded secret. The world was stunned. No one expected the nation's greatest innovation to come disguised as its most common vessel. The humble had become a queen on the geopolitical chessboard. The Philippines had just rewritten the playbook. What is the Banca X? At its core, it's a masterpiece of deception. On the surface, it's a traditional Filipino fishing boat, ubiquitous, invisible to surveillance. But beneath, it's a state-of-the-art unmanned surface vessel. The diesel engine and fish holds are replaced with a quiet hybrid electric motor, advanced sensors, and a modular payload bay. It can carry surveillance gear, or be armed with torpedoes, anti-ship missiles, or function as a kamikaze drone. The genius is in its simplicity and disguise. The Philippine Navy faces the impossible task of patrolling 36,000 kilometers of coastline. Conventional warships are too few and too costly. The Banca X offers a cost-effective decentralized network of sensors and deterrents. A swarm can monitor vast areas, report in real time, and if needed, attack with overwhelming numbers. It's naval guerrilla warfare, flipping conventional doctrine on its head. The real challenge for any adversary identification. How do you distinguish a hostile Banca X from an innocent fisherman? You can't. Every fishing boat becomes a potential threat, creating a paralyzing dilemma. Attack a civilian, and it's a disaster. Ignore it, and you risk a missile strike. The Banca X weaponizes uncertainty. The Banca X is more than hardware. It's a statement of Filipino identity. V is woven into the nation's culture, a symbol of resilience and connection to the sea. By choosing this design, the creators fused modern weaponry with national heritage. Local boat builders work alongside engineers, blending tradition and technology. The result, a vessel that's both a perfect disguise and a source of community pride. We looked at our own strengths, our own culture, says Dr. Elena Reyes, lead engineer. The is who we are. The project has sparked national unity and inspired a new generation of innovators. It's a Filipino solution, built by Filipino hands for Filipino defense. The Banca X proves that embracing culture can drive innovation. Indigenous knowledge and local traditions have become force multipliers. The path to security is paved with the bricks of history. The Banca X has upended naval strategy in the Asia Pacific. Before, dominance meant bigger ships and more firepower. Now, it's about the threat of the swarm. A destroyer can be overwhelmed by a hundred low-cost drones. Enemy sailors now face a sea of uncertainty. Any fishing boat could be a threat. This constant paranoia degrades performance and decision-making. Adversaries face a no-win choice attack civilians and risk disaster or hold fire and risk devastation. The mere possibility of a Banca X deters hostile fleets. The economics are transformed. A Banca X costs a fraction of a missile or warship. The Philippines can afford to lose dozens. An adversary can't lose even one major ship. This strategy bleeds opponents through a thousand small cuts. The Banca X is a virtual minefield, deterrence without a shot fired. The rules of naval warfare have changed. The Banca X is a symbol of a new Filipino spirit, self-reliant, innovative, and proud. It marks a shift from dependency on foreign arms to homegrown solutions. The project has ignited national pride and inspired a wave of technological advancement. Local boatyards and tech startups now form a sophisticated defense supply chain. Young engineers stay home to build the future. Gawang Pinoy, made in the Philippines, now means quality and resilience. The Banca X is more than a weapon. It's an engine of national development. It unites the nation and challenges old stereotypes. Filipino ingenuity is now a key factor in regional security. To understand the Banca X, listen to its creators. We called it the Bayanihan approach.
says Dr. Elena Reyes. It was built in workshops, classrooms, and strategy sessions. We couldn't outspend rivals, so we outthought them. The C is our home, the R symbol. Lieutenant C. Mandura Marco Santos, a drone squadron leader, says, The Banca X creates the unknown for our adversaries. My operators are safe, but always present on the water. When an enemy captain sees fishing boats, he has to assume they're mine. That hesitation is our victory. Monglito, a veteran boat builder, says, I used to build boats to find fish. Now, I build them to protect fishermen. It's an honor. The shape is the same, but this boat has the heart of a warrior. Defense Secretary Teodoro declares, The Banca X is our doctrine of credible deterrence made real. We defend our sovereignty with courage and creativity. The strength of a nation isn't in the size of its ships, but in the spirit of its people. The project turned the archipelago's geography from a challenge into a fortress. Every component carries the Filipino spirit. The Banca X is proof that unity and innovation can change a nation's fate. It's a revolution in defense thinking. The world is watching and learning. The Philippines has found its voice. Imagine a tense afternoon in the West Philippine Sea. The CNSE, a Chinese destroyer, patrols confidently tracking dozens of fishing boats. Suddenly, 15 contacts accelerate, converging at 40 knots. The disguise drops. These are Banca X drones. The destroyer's defenses are overwhelmed by a swarm of sea-skimming targets. Decoy flares and jamming confuse the systems. The main gun and CIWS take out a few, but there are too many. While defenses focus on one side, a loitering munition strikes the hull. Another wave launches anti-ship missiles, hitting the bridge and hangar. The multi-billion dollar warship is crippled, burning, dead in the water. The Banca X drones melt away. Mission accomplished. The cost to the Philippines, a handful of drones. The cost to the aggressor, a major warship and a blow to prestige. This is the new reality, mass over class. The Banca X turns the tables on traditional naval power. The psychological and strategic impact is devastating. The Philippines has found a way to defend its waters on its own terms. The world takes notice. The game has changed. The Banca X's power lies in blending low-tech camouflage with high-tech internals. Its stealth isn't just radar, it's environmental. It looks and sounds like any other boat. The composite hull mimics wood. The hybrid engine runs silently on battery. On radar, it's just another fishing boat, until it's too late. Control is flexible remote human operators or autonomous patrols. A few operators can manage a vast fleet. The modular payload bay adapts to any mission. Surveillance torpedoes, missiles, or explosives. This flexibility means the Navy can quickly reconfigure its fleet, the real disruptor affordability. Using common hulls and commercial electronics, each drone costs a fraction of a missile. The Philippines can deploy them in vast numbers. Mass over class, quantity becomes a strategic advantage. The Banca X saturates defenses making even the most advanced warships vulnerable. The Banca X is the cornerstone of a new Philippine defense philosophy. It ends total reliance on foreign aid and imported hardware. For the first time, the Philippines has a homegrown system tailored to its geography and needs. The doctrine of archipelagic defense turns natural assets into weapons. The Banca X network creates a persistent layered defense, early warning, surveillance, and rapid response. It's a credible, affordable deterrent. The message, the Philippines is a capable, reliable partner and a resolute defender. To adversaries, any aggression will be met with unpredictable, overwhelming force. The world is on notice. The Philippines is standing watch. A new era of self-reliance and national pride has begun.